I wanted to try something different with my highlights video this week. So here's 10 fun facts about Mao Ichimichi. Number 1. Mao is actually a big fan of the Weekly Shonen Jump. In fact, she used to be the fourth assistant of Weekly Shonen Jump's Jam Tamaji, a part of Shonen Jump that was dedicated to reader contribution. In fact, Shonen Jump reserved a special page for her the year she portrayed Luka in the 2011 Super Sentai series Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger. In addition to being an assistant in Jam Tamaji, she also appeared in Sakiyomi Jumbang, Shonen Jump's variety show where she hosted the informational corner from 2010 to 2014. Number 2. So if you've been following her career, you'd know that Mao has become a very popular voice actress. She developed an interest in voice acting during the filming of Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger, specifically when she had to go into a recording booth in order to dub over the in-suit fight scenes. Number 3. Her voice actress name is stylized as Mao, with two interpoints between the MNA and ANO. She chose to stylize her stage name this way because when she received a script for one of her first shows, it was already written like this, and she loved how it looked like an emoticon utilizing letters. As to why it was written this way, even she doesn't know, but she is thankful. Number 4. When Gokaiju wrapped up, she felt more lonely than sad. She felt there were more stories to be told, and she also wanted to do more cute scenes as Luca. Number 5. She often celebrates the birthdays of her favorite anime characters by purchasing a cake that she enjoys and eating at home by herself. Some of her favorite characters are Gintama's Gintoki, One Piece's Marco, and Katekyo Hitman Reborn's Zanzis. Number 6. As Luca, Mao had to talk with a low voice in order to contrast the high voice Luca talks in when she talks about her love for treasure. Number 7. As far as anime character goes, Mao likes the glasses characters. Number 8. Her favorite Persona character is Naoto, from Persona 4. Number 9. In an interview by News Lounge dated 2014, she was asked about her love life, and she says that although she is single, she wants to work hard because she has been blessed with many voice roles so at the moment, she just wants to focus on work. Number 10. Mao grew up in Osaka, so all her life she has spoken in the Kansai dialect. However, whenever she is in a formal setting like in the workplace or when she's portraying her character, she has to be careful with the intonation and nuances that are common for those who speak in the Kansai dialect. However, she was very happy that one of her characters she portrayed, Kazumi from Bin Elder in the Darkness, spoke with the Kansai dialect. Bonus number 11. In an interview with Excite, she admits that she hasn't stepped into the world of BL. Yet. But she does know quite a lot about the genre since she has a friend who is really into it. And that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments who you'd like me to cover next. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.